the last time that I, I gave you my testimony, I told you about my diagnosis, and I'm not going to say that word anymore because I claim that I am healed. And when we went to Oregon, I said, I want to go climb that mountain again, Multnomah Falls. And I said, I go in your strength, Lord. I go in your strength. And it's pretty, you know, it's pretty challenging on the top because it's not paved anymore. Once you hit the ninth stop, I think it's not paved anymore. So there's little rocks and, you know, you know what a mountain is. So every step I take, I said, Lord, it's in your strength, in your strength. You know, it's a good witness, Lord, of your strength in me that you have healed me and you enable me to reach this mountain. And praise the Lord, I reached the top. Praise God. I reached the praise top. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I wasn't short of breath. Hallelujah. I had strength. And as I look at the river over there before the river drops to the falls, there's so much water, so much water. And I said to my husband, I want to take off my shoes. <laughs> and dip my feet in there. And he looks at me weird, like, what are you doing? But I said, and I prove that there is no limit with God. So I took off my shoes, and I dipped my feet. And I saw a big boulder there. And I said, I'm going to sit down. So I sat down. Then I was starting to worship again. I was singing at the middle of the river. And I didn't care who hears me or sees me and, this, and decides I am crazy because I'm crazy for the Lord. Amen. I am crazy for the Lord just to worship him and praise him. So then I stood and I worshiped and I said, Lord, I can see rocks in here. I can see little stones. And I remember David with the rocks that he got. And I said, Lord, I'm going to take three rocks, three rocks. And at that time, I did not know. I was just thinking, I'm going to give it to my friend Madeline here. And my friend Winnie that I stayed, that we stayed in Oregon. And I pulled them out, and I said, one for me. But now looking back, I said, this God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost. <laughs> so I said, praise you, Lord. Praise I'm pulling out these rocks. And I said, I'm worshiping. And my husband took my picture there. And I gave it to my friends. And I brought the rock home. It's a witness that I had been there and that God had proved to be faithful. Jesus. And that's not the end. I was going down the mountain, running, <laughs> running. I wasn't scared. And I come to a bend. There was a clearing from the fires. And I look down and I hear, I hear in my spirit, take a picture of that tree. There was a tree that was dying because of the fires, but they didn't cut it down. And so I said, okay, Lord, I'll take that picture. I didn't understand why I should take a picture of a dead tree. I should be taking the green trees, you know. And then was impressed on me. Yes, you were once like that tree. You were dead, you were dying, but now you are alive. And I said, praise you, Lord. Praise your Lord, I am alive and well to worship you and to honor you and to give you praise. As long as I have breath, I will sing for you. I will praise for you. Madeline says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I praise the Lord because I have breath and has enabled me to live, to be alive, to be in worship team and to be singing his praises. What a wonder, what a privilege to praise and honor God. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Miracles, signs, wonders, and miracles. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because, Lord, I live to worship. Lord, I live to worship you. Lord, I live to worship you. All the days of my life, Lord, I 
Yeah. 